Okay, so my name is Lazina Green. This is my first video on YouTube. And my videos are going to be more geared towards health and fitness. However, I'm doing this video because I have a text lax, but not really text lax, more like a texture. I used the Just For Me texture, I texture softener in my hair yesterday. And I did this video because I have 4C hair with 4B and probably 4A in different areas. And I've been going on YouTube looking at uh, videos and trying to find individuals with my type of hair and what it would come out looking like air dried. Um, most of the videos I find people have done the texture softener and then soon after they flat iron it or it's in a bun or something and I wanted to know what my hair is going to look like. The closest I found or the other thing is they'll do their hair and it's wet. Well, I want to know what it looks like when it's dry. Um, there was only one other YouTube person that I saw actually had um, a video with her hair almost air dry and that was D T I think it was 9385 or something like that um, to give me an idea but let me go into my background so I have been natural since 2000 I have gone uh, I have probably big chopped maybe two times um, the first time because my hair got this length and then I got frustrated because I didn't know what to do with it and I had knots and it just wasn't working so I cut it again because it's so much easier when it's short you know you wash it go it's done so then um, I let it grow again because I want it longer I want it more length to my hair so <clears throat> again got to this the same um, length and then decided to try an S curl texturizer in my hair well if I had known more about the different textures in my hair, I would have known that the way I was applying it was completely wrong. So anyways, um, my mom helped me and we were applying the texturizer in the back part of my hair and we hadn't even made it to halfway up the in the application to the front when I noticed the back was starting to straighten like almost like a relaxer so of course that sent me into panic mode we washed it out and th there were some straight pieces had to cut it anyways cut again so now I cannot tell you when that happened because I have um, had you know I've got got I, you know, I was in medical school, graduated, got married. I've had two kids in the past, two kids these these years, and then um, went to residency, graduated from residency, finished that. Now I'm in my second year in practice, and so I cannot tell you how long that I was growing natural. So again, I got frustrated because I, you know, when you're in a professional career, you kind of need your hair to be predictable. Um, I was doing braid outs, doing twist outs, and it, it, some days it comes out looking fabulous. Some days it comes out looking not so fabulous. You know, if you had done your hair all up for for a braid out or a twist out, and then you get up in the morning and it's raining, you can pretty much hang up. It's done. And so that was just not working. And then I didn't want to continually put, you know, flat iron. I didn't like doing that. That took forever in a day. You know, because you do small sections. It just wasn't working. I have no, I cannot wrap my hair to save my life. I have tried and tried, and it just ends up looking like a hot mess. So that just wasn't working. And, and again, I started to get to this length, and I started getting single strand knots and the detangling, and I just was, you know, my frustration level was up to here with the whole thing. So then I started, you know, watching YouTube and looking at folks that have had four type hair tax lax and say, you know, how much easier it is to detangle. Um, you know, it doesn't take as much time to do your hair. And so I said, well, maybe I'll try, you know, maybe I'll try that. So I, um, I initially did a texture softener about three weeks ago and I'm laughing because y'all are gonna laugh with me in a minute so you know I was so afraid of damaging my hair and making it come out straight so I started the process first of all I did the mistake and bought one box 
Y'all see how much hair I got? Y'all see how much hair I got? Yeah, I bought one box. Yeah, that was not enough. But hey, you know, I didn't realize that. So I, with the texture softener, you know, I've got, you know, and I've had a relaxer a long time ago. You know, they put the Vaseline on, protect your scalp, blah, blah, blah. So I put Vaseline on my, uh, my edges here, all around in the back, like you're supposed to. I Vaseline my scalp. And then I'd seen people on, on YouTube had, who had put, you know, Vaseline on their hair to try to protect their hair from um, the texture softener causing so much damage. So I decided that I was just going to Vaseline my hair. So I had basically Vaseline every, everything, scalp, edges, hair, everything. So then, you know, you mix the activator with the, um, in, in the, texture softener cream stuff whatever it's called so I poured about half the activator in there I poured the whole um, bottle of the sunflower oil that comes with it and then I set my timer now mind you it, this is texture softener hair so you can only imagine what my hair looks like without the texture softener in it um, so my roots were not uh, easy to divide so I then set my timer for I think it was like 15 minutes I can't remember and I commenced to play the texture softener in. yeah how about 15 minutes I am still applying texture softener in my hair and on top of that I ran out I was digging out of the jar to get the front of my hair. <laughs> it was, the, anyways, it was hilarious. So then I'm like, oh my God, it's 15 minutes. You know, the other parts of my hair that I did first uh, have got to be straight by now. So I'm panicking. So of course I jumped in the shower. I do the whole neutralizing shampoo. I put in the um, Apogee two minute protein treatment. So after all that, I get out of the shower and I look in the mirror and guess what? It looks exactly the same as before. It had done nothing to my hair. And I shouldn't have been so surprised because I had put Vaseline and all that jazz, half the activator, it didn't do it. It didn't do a thing. It did not do a thing. So then I was like, I need to do this over. But I was a little afraid because I had put chemical in my hair and I'm thinking, well, did if I do it, you know, back to back, will that cause damage? So I didn't know what to do. And I went on YouTube looking for people that have done the same thing and didn't find anything. So I waited about three to four weeks. And so yesterday I decided, you know, I'm tired of this. I'm I had actually washed my hair that morning, um, put in my deep conditioner, did a baggy method, and went to go buy some random things that I forgot at the supermarket. So I'm in the store and I'm like, all right, I should just get this texture softener because I'm gonna do my protein treatment uh, yesterday. And then I was planning on doing the texture softener next weekend. However, I got antsy and I'm like, you know what? I don't wanna do my, I don't wanna twist my, I don't wanna take, you know, four hours to twist my hair. Um, I can do a braid out, but then who knows? It might rain tomorrow. I don't feel like checking the weather. I don't feel like doing all that. I just don't. I just don't feel like doing that. So, actually, I pulled up in my driveway, and I was thinking about it. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go buy the texture softener. So I went back to the store, bought two boxes this time, and so, and then um, um, started to apply the texture softener. Now. For those ladies who have different types of uh, textures in their hair, um, you need to apply it according to the types, textures in your hair. Um, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. 